I don't know what to look out for. Let's get into the video. Get to the good part. What's going on, ladies and gents? Joe G, Elite Health and Physique, and today I'm gonna show you how you can crush your cravings without feeling guilty. And as a special bonus, I'm gonna share with you one of my favorite late night craving crushing snacks. So hopefully you can navigate past your cravings on your diet. Don't forget, if you're brand new to the channel, subscribe if you find this video helpful. And without further ado, let's get right into it. So at the start of shredding season, I told y'all that I'll share with you some of my craving crushers and show you some ways that you might be able to approach and deal with your cravings as you diet. But first, I think it's important to understand some of the reasons why you may struggle with your cravings in the first place. So I'm gonna share two of them with you just so that you are aware of them as you go into your journey on your diet. So we're gonna jump into two of those right now and then we'll get into the recipe. All right, let's do it. So the first reason you may struggle with cravings on your diet is because you trust your appetite don't do that and i know what you're thinking it's my appetite it tells me what i'm supposed to be eating and i get it because on the surface it makes sense but let me tell you why it's a problem right now so your appetite in the beginning is not a safe guide to trust and it's most likely because for the past few weeks months years or decades or however long it's been for you you've most likely rewired it and as a result your appetite is going to demand those foods that brought you to this point in the first place. So you cannot trust your appetite in the beginning. It will take time before you can truly rely on it, uh, obviously again, but in the beginning, you need to take control of it, tell it what to expect through your food choices, and then slowly over time, those cravings will subside. Now they're never going to go away, all right? And that's cool, but we just don't want those cravings to dominate, all right? And so essentially that's what you want to avoid. And the second reason that you may struggle with your cravings is because you may not have a full understanding of the mind-gut connection. And to be honest, your brain is the master manipulator of all your cravings. So some people believe that if you're out of shape or if you're overweight, that you lack the willpower. But there are chemical processes that force you to lose control of your cravings, if that makes sense. And the foods that are really good at doing this are high in sugar, they're high in fat, and they're high in salt. And of course, all processed foods are high in all three of these, and they give your brain a huge shot of dopamine, and then your brain gets this reward signal, and then slowly it dies down. And when it doesn't get enough, your brain kicks back up and it starts demanding and craving more of a reward. And so if you're not on top of your game, this becomes a vicious cycle. And this is how people give into their cravings and they get stuck where they are and they never make progress. So the two key takeaways is don't rely on your appetite when you first start. And two, understand the mind gut connection and what's actually happening when you have these highly palatable salt sugar and fat foods all right so now you know a couple of reasons to be aware of and what to look out for let's get into the video get to the good part so in order to regulate your appetite it's important to use simple ingredients as close to the natural state as possible now you may be saying to yourself that chocolate hummus and that coconut whipped cream is not in its natural state and to that i would say you're right however you can easily make both of these ingredients homemade and if you really want me to i'll show you how to do it drop a comment and i'll gladly make a video for you but to save time i'm going to go with the pre-packaged versions because sometimes you need to get something done quick and you don't feel like prepping. All right, so the first step is you wanna add your chocolate hummus to the base of the bowl. Then you're gonna put that down. You're gonna add your blueberries on top. Next, you're gonna add the coconut whipped cream just to give it a nice little flavor. And then lastly, for the crunch, you're gonna add and sprinkle in some chopped walnuts uh, for some healthy fats and voila, there it is, baby. And you can choose to eat this straight up, nice and boozy or you can get a little Mr. Nasty with it, mix it all together. Personally, I like to mix it up because I feel like the flavors blend a little better, um, and, but to each their own. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, but it's getting late, cravings are calling, so subscribe if you liked the video, you found it helpful, and I'll see you guys in the next one.